a very good morning my dear friends and welcome to our channel mother mary su protection let us now listen to the word of god this is catholic daily mass readings and reflections for february 28 2024 wednesday of the second week of lent first reading a reading from the prophet jeremiah chapter 18 verses 18 to 20 The people of Judah and the citizens of Jerusalem said, Come, let us contrive a plot against Jeremiah. It will not mean the loss of instruction from the priests, nor of counsel from the wise, nor of messages from the prophets. And so let us destroy him by his own tongue. Let us carefully note his every word. Heed me, O Lord, and listen to what my adversaries say. Must good be repaid with evil, that they should dig a pit to take my life? Remember that I stood before you to speak in their behalf, to turn away your wrath from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. response real song your response save me o lord in your kindness you will free me from the snare they set for me for you are my refuge into your hands i commend my spirit you will redeem me o lord o faithful god your response save me o lord in your kindness i hear the whispers of the crowd that frightened me from every side as they consulted together against me plotting to take my life your response save me o lord in your kindness but my trust is in you o lord i say you are my god in your hands is my destiny rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors your response save me o lord in your kindness verse before the gospel i am the light of the world says the lord whoever follows me will have the light of life gospel a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew chapter 20 verses 17 to 28 as jesus was going up to jerusalem He took the 12 disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way Behold we are going up to Jerusalem and the son of man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified and he will be raised on the third day then the mother of the sons of zebedee approached jesus with her sons and did him homage wishing to ask him for something he said to her what do you wish she answered him command that these two sons of mine sit one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom jesus said in reply you do not know what you are asking can you drink the chalice that i am going to drink they said to him we can he replied my chalice you will indeed drink but to sit at my right and at my left this is not mine to give but is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father when the 10 heard this they became indignant at the two brothers but jesus summoned them and said you know that the rulers of the gentiles lord it over them and the great ones make their authority over them felt but it shall not be so among you 
Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. With Jesus on the road to greatness is a powerful message for our lives found in today's gospel, Matthew 20, 17 to 28. According to Jesus, service and suffering are the paths to greatness in today's gospel. Additionally, Jesus' work and suffering demonstrated his greatness. Jesus did above all come to suffer and to serve. My dear friends, Jesus is not just our savior. He is also our Lord and our role model in life. For this reason, Jesus came into the world to die and arise to redeem us from the sinful curse. Moreover, he came to give us a fresh life, a new life, an abundant life, so that we could live according to his design for us rather than according to the ways of the world. My dear family of Mother Mary's protection, the word of God has power. This Lent set a challenge for yourself and for myself to live according to God's word. Think about how you can help everyone who is in need. Consider ways that you can serve and be like Jesus by going through hardships. By going through our daily crosses. Since serving and suffering are necessary for us to resemble Jesus. Prayer. Lord of the living. Even though I am unable to see you with my eyes. I feel as though you are now present within me and you are far more familiar with me than I am. Additionally, I am aware that you love me far more than I do. Even if I don't deserve your affection, I value your care and attention for me. I give you sincere repentance for my transgressions and may resolve to love you more every day in gratitude. Amen. My dear friends, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.